it would appear that I've hit another subscriber milestone. Yes, hello, I'm TFR Wilderness, welcome to my channel, and this is my 400 subscribers video. Um, now, it might seem a little late, because I actually I hit 400 subs you know, just inside the new year, and um, I didn't want to do the video straight away, the reason being is, um, well, let's put it this way. If I'd have rushed out and done a 400 subs video as soon as I hit 400 subs, by the time I'd processed the video and uploaded it and checked my recheck my subscriber count, it probably would have dropped down to like uh, 398, as is the way with YouTube. You know, somebody might have unsubscribed, or I don't know whether that uh, that bug still going around on YouTube where it uh, it unsubscribes you for no apparent reason without your knowledge. I don't know whether that's still a thing because I know that was a bug in the past that used to affect certain people. Um, so yeah, uh, I've reached 400 subs. It's uh, taken a while because, I mean, this channel uh, as well, I've been reviewing bots on this channel since, um, well, the first video was on the 26th of May 2014, and um, it took me... Um, well, my, my 100 subs video was... Uh, I'm sorry, I've got a piece of paper down here with some, some stats on I want to roll off to you. Um, yeah, so my 100 subs video where I reviewed this guy, um, Hunt for the Decepticons Deluxe um, Terror Dive, marvellous bot, um, and that was on the uh, 11th of May 2015, so that was like a little under 12 months since my first video, and then it was like a further 15 months until uh, my 200 subs video, which I did on the 24th of August 2016, where I reviewed little RID One Step Fix It here. And uh, then uh, a further 14 months until the 21st of October 2017 and uh, for my 300 subs video and we got uh, Hunt for the Decepticons Voyager Sea Spray. So now it's, it's been some 15 months again since that last subscriber video and so here we are with the 400 subs video in uh what, 15th of january 2019 and uh yeah who am i going to review it says well as you probably know or you may or may not know i uh, like to keep very close records on my transformer collecting habit and since i started my transformer collecting habit i've kept uh, a running total of all the bots that I keep in my collection. You know, every bot gets a number, and the number is um, in order of purchase. So, I already had a bot in in my possession which I'd owned since 2007. So he was effectively bot number one, and every bot I've bought after that has received a serial number. And when I get to what I refer to as a centenary bot, you know, like a hundred bots, two hundred bots, three hundred bots, those bots then take on extra significance. And I use them as a um, as a bot, which I will then use in a review when I reach said number of subscribers on my channel. So yeah, so this guy was uh, my 100 subs video subject, and this is bot 100. And then you got bot 200 and bot 300. So. With that being the case, who is bot 400? Well, it's actually this guy. <laughs> Little uh, Transformers G1 Micromaster Rescue Patrol Team Red Hot. Now, obviously, as this is such a small figure and very simple, um, doing a review on it isn't going to take very long. So this isn't going to be much of a video. So... Uh, and also, because he's so small, I'm going to do it magic hand style. So let's give that a go, shall we? Right, magic hands time. I don't usually do reviews like this. But anyway, this guy's so small, um, I had to do him in close-up. So, uh, yeah, magic hands time. Okay, so uh, G1 Micromaster Rescue Patrol Team Red Hot. Here he is in his vehicle mode. And uh, as you can see, he's a... A kind of a futuristic looking red fire engine. Quick uh, quick move around. He's got uh, he's got uh, the ladder. Can uh, move up and down. It can also fold in half. It's got uh, it's got you no know, ladder rungs molded into the, the the back of the ladder. It's 
got like a um, a hose nozzle on the end so you can squirt water onto a fire from a from a height. You look for the moulded detail on the top. You've got some what look like fire extinguishers on the top there. Um, then you've got uh, some horns. You've got the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the flashing sirens and beacons. It's got painted windows at the front. And then uh, looking down the side, you've got uh, you've got like a, a curled up hose reel on the side there. And uh, he's got a set of wheels, pinned wheels. Uh, he's got some false wheels here, some some uh, fake wheels that are painted. Um, they didn't paint the uh, the rim in the middle, so it's just a, just an all out black wheel. And uh, yeah, so he makes a really neat looking neat looking. What's it? Now transformation is very very simple. I mean you can fold that up. Then basically you fold the cab sections around then stand him up and then you just bring the arms out and there you have Red Hot in his robot mode. Um, great looking robot mode, good use of colours. Um, it's got like a, a decent what moulded detail. He stands up fine. Um, you can actually use, if he doesn't stand up very well, you can use the ladder as an extra extra leg, you know, as like a prop stand. He is a little back heavy. Um, the arms go all the way round. And uh, obviously you can you know, pull his legs back, but that's about it. He also has, you can sort of get him in a, sort of a sitting pose like so but because obviously his knees are kind of in the uh, the, the, the middle of his shins it's, uh, it's, it means the leg articulation is a little unusual um, now I mean I like to think of this guy as like a, a MicroMaster version of G1 Inferno because if you if you look at his head sculpt you can see it's very very reminiscent of um, Inferno's head sculpt so I, I like to think that this guy is, you know, Inferno rather than uh, Red Hot, but uh, that's just me. Um, obviously, you can move that thing around. It's a shame did the the, uh, the bend on the um, that only goes that way. If it went the other way, you could have it over his shoulder, and then you could you know, squirt wa water over his shoulder, which would be great. But anyway, that's about as much as you can say. For the uh, the robot mode, it's very nice. It's colourful, decent amount of detail. Nice, simple transformation. You just flip around the legs and stand him up, and he's got a, a pretty cool truck mode. So yeah, Transformers G1 MicroMaster Rescue Patrol Team Red Hot. He's awesome. So as you can see, Mr. Mr. Red Hot here is a uh, no. He's he's a pretty cool little bot from MicroMaster, and uh, I think it's kind of uh, appropriate and relevant that I'm reviewing this guy at this time because you've now got Transformers Siege, where the uh, you know the MicroMasters are getting a rehash and being re-released in the, the Siege toy line, and in Wave Two, we've got this guy. Um, well, he's actually been renamed Red Heat, as I recall, um, but he's getting re re reissued, along with um, Stakeout, who is another, like a black police guy, who is another guy in the original G1 MicroMaster Rescue Patrol team. So it's quite good that I'll be doing a review on this. But in order to pad this video out a little bit more, this guy actually has an interesting story along to go along with him. And I have mentioned this before in previous videos, and uh, I'm going to go through it again now because obviously I'm talking about the bot itself. So basically, if this goes all the way back to uh, um, Rollout Roll Call 2015. That was uh, October the 3rd and 4th, 2015 at uh, you know, the Jewelry's Inn in Southampton where I went to my second Rollout Roll Call. And uh, I actually stayed over at that event and one of, there, was a, there was a bunch of other YouTubers that went there and one of them was a certain Mr. Richard Delafield, a.k.a. Bisto Yeti. And, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a you know, good friend of uh, Richard and um, 
I uh, you know, met him or with him and talked to him a number of times at the event. And uh, at one point, he uh, was well, I was chatting to him, and uh, he mentioned that he was looking out for um, G1 MicroMaster Stakeout. Now he's the little black police car that I mentioned, who's getting a reissue in you know Wave Two of uh, you know the Siege MicroMasters. Um, he was looking for for one of those, and the reason being is that in back then, in in uh, you know sort of autumn 2015, you had the the second instalment of the uh, sort of the the Wreckers trilogy from IDW. You had the Sins of the Wreckers, which was the 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 the, the second part of the the uh, comic line that was coming out, and in that uh, Stakeout had uh, a, was getting a bit of a, a cameo role or a starring role in that comic. Now Richard was thinking that because of this, this character might then gain or attain cult status and his toy will become in high demand and thus the price will shoot up. So he was, he was he wanted to get in there before this happened and he asked me to keep my eye out and look out for this this you know this little little black police car, this MicroMaster stakeout. So with that in mind we fast forward a little bit to uh, December the 27th, 2015 uh, at the NEC Toy Fair. Now, going into the NEC Toy Fair, I, I took a little bit extra money with me at that particular event, and I knew that I was going to hit bot 400 at this uh, at some point during my purchasing at the NEC Toy Fair. But I wasn't paying too much attention, and I went into it. And then, when I was about sort of halfway through, uh, I found a guy um, who was selling some bots on his table, and he had a little bag with some MicroMasters in it. And when I looked at them, it was the MicroMaster Rescue Patrol team, all four members. It was Stakeout, Red Hot, Fix It, who's like a, a, a white, um, a white ambulance, and then you got Sea Watch, who is like a like a blue like you know, fast attack boat or whatever it is. Anyway, so they're in a little bag for a fiver, and I thought, oh yeah, I, I need to get these for uh, you know for Richard because he's a he's after them. So I bought them, and then I, I bought a few other bots. And it wasn't until I got home that I realised that one of these MicroMasters was my bot 400. Now, Richard was specifically after the, um, the, the stakeout, and I had bought these bots on behalf of Richard. But at the time, I wasn't that bothered about keeping hold of my bot 400, and I was quite prepared to sell Richard the, 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 the whole set of four uh, MicroMasters, you know, rescue patrol team to him at the same price I paid for him, which was five quid. So I contacted Richard and, and, and said to him, says, yeah, I've managed to find that bot you're after, plus, you know, all the others that go in, in the set. Uh, do, do you want them? And he said, yes. And I says, oh, I'll sell them to you, you know, for five quid, same price I paid for him. And I did mention to him then, well, one of them is actually my bot 400. And he says, well, do you want to keep it? And I says, no, nah, I'm not that bothered about it. I says, you can have it. I'll sell it to you. So then, a, few, uh, a bit of contacts went forward, and then moving into January, um, January the 16th, this was a Saturday, um, I was up at Bury that weekend, and uh, I'd uh, spoken to uh, to Richard, and I'd arranged to go over to his house in uh, Bolton, because he lives in Bolton, and when I'm up at Bury, Bury's only like, I don't know, was it 15 miles away from Bolton, so I decided to uh, drive across on the... Um, to, to visit him and uh, do the deal and, and sell him these MicroMasters. Anyway, so I went across to his place in Bolton and uh, turns out he was having a, a games evening with uh, some of his friends that came over. Uh, Richard showed me around his house and his collection and uh, I did the deal. I sold him sold him the bots and uh, that was good. And then his friends came around and we had a, a, an evening playing board games. I mean, one of them was uh, King of New York, which is that game where you have these monsters and you have to sort of take over New York. Um, I, I played that game, but I, I lost very quickly. <laughs> I'm not very good at board games these days. And I, I sat out uh, some of the other board games they played later on. But uh, yeah, it was it was a really good uh, evening. And, uh, you know, there, there was some uh, you know, chatting and drinking and stuff going on, and uh, Richard uh, let me have a little play with some of his uh, figures, most notably his uh, Mackie Toys uh, rear end and uh, trash talk. You know, his like little swerve and uh, tailgate that he had, and they're really neat little figures, and I might be tempted to pick them up at a later date. Um, anyway, so I stayed through, and then it was getting a bit late. I think it was about half past 11, so I said to Richard, oh, I really need to get back to Bury. Opened the front door and there was about three to four inches of snow on the ground. It snowed in the in the hours that I'd been at Richard's house that evening, and it was like the snow was coming down, you know, like 
thick and fast and it was piling up on the road. Richard did suggest to me, oh, you know, you can you know, bed down in my house overnight if needs be. And I says, well, no, 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 I really need to get back to Bury. So I, I jumped in my car, drove back to Bury. Very, very uh, dodgy, dicey drive back to Bury in the in the in the the, the pouring snow um, down unfamiliar roads, and, and I managed to get back back to Bury okay. But uh, that was that. So yeah, this guy was uh, in the ownership of uh, a certain Mister Richard Delafield at that time. So anyway, again, fast forward uh, a little further, and then we're. Um, getting into you know sort of later in the year and I started to, to get regrets at selling the bot 400 because when I thought about it I said well what happens when I get to 400 subs I ain't gonna have a bot to review am I <laughs> so anyway so I came up with this idea what if I was to buy a separate um, G1 MicroMaster Red Hot off eBay and then have a word with Richard and say, let's do a swap. And you, know, you give me back my original Bot 400 and I'll give you a replacement Red Hot. So I contacted Richard again and, and, and floated this idea with him and, and he seemed okay with it. So I went ahead and I went on eBay and I bought a second Red Hot. Obviously not this one. Um, I paid, I mean, I mean, obviously these came in, uh, uh, the, the originally I bought them for a fiver. So I, I pay like £1.25 for this original one. Um... And the one I got off eBay, which I got from a guy in America, it, it came out at like £8.46. And uh, when it arrived, I mean, I bought it on the 16th of June 2016, and it arrived on June the 25th. And uh, it then, as according to my bot numbering system, became uh, 472. So, you know, 472, I then had it as a replacement bot for Richard. And then, um, then obviously, the next time I, I saw Richard was at uh, TF Nation. 2016 um, and it was uh, it was on the the Sunday afternoon or the, no no it was late Sunday morning that was it at TF Nation uh, August the 21st and uh, it, at TF Nation 2016 I was uh, I was uh, on the uh, Maximi Love Toys sale stall I was selling some of those Tom Henson bot lots on the on the on James's stall and uh, it was it was late on the Sunday morning and, and Richard sort of came round and he was Oh, he seemed a little worse for wear for the uh, shenanigans in the in the in the bar the night before, so uh, but uh, he had uh, the the red hot with him and he says you know if you've got that that uh, red hot let's do the swap so I I, I dug out bot four seven two and uh, they uh, they they changed hands and I got my bot four hundred back so <laughs> that's the little story about um, how I bought this how I sold it and then got it back again <laughs> so yeah and that is my. Uh, my 400, but 400, my 400 subs video review of uh, G1 uh, MicroMaster Red Hot and a little bit of story to go with it. Now, um, before I go, um, in previous um, you know, so, uh, subscriber videos that I've done, I then, at the, the end of the video, I'll do like a, a musical sort of thing of all the, the names of all the subscribers scrolling up the screen. Um, fortunately, I can't do that this time. The reason being over the last couple of years or months or whatever youtube have you know done a changed the 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 program the 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 server and they've taken away that facility where you can view your subscriber list so i don't know how many well i know how many subs i've got because it tells me you know you've got 405 subs which is what i've got at the moment but i don't know exactly who they are <laughs> so i'm sorry i can't do that for you but you know who you are I mean, there's obviously that uh, that small select group of about 20, 30 odd um, subscribers who I refer to as the party faithful who watch everything that I do. And, and thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. And then the rest of them um, are, you know, you know, sort of casual subscribers who maybe you know, watch one of my videos on occasions and, and the rest of them, I reckon they... they had one of my videos that was, you know, you get that thing where it suggests those videos that you might want to watch. It might have popped up on their sort of suggested playlist. They clicked on it, watched it, say, oh, this guy's all right. I quite like this guy. Press subscribe and not watched a single one of my videos since. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the tr I, I don't get much in the way of traction on my videos these days, I put, especially my KTRT reviews. But, yeah, they're of limited interest in the you know, Transformer you know, viewers on the whole. Um, 
So, you know, I put a video up and it gets in the first 24, 48 hours, it only gets like 20, 25 views and I wish it was more. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more subscribers, but, you know, fewer and fewer views and it's it's unfortunate. I mean, given time, they then pick up in views, but, you know, I'd like to get a little bit more traction on my videos, more people, you know, view my videos shortly after they've been uploaded. That would make me a lot happier. But anyway, if you are a subscriber of mine, thank you so much for joining my channel. I, I hope you <laughs> enjoy watching me, if you do. Um, so yeah, I've hit 400 subs. It's it's taken a while. Um, judging by how long it's taken me, it, it's kind of like a pattern going here. It's, it's like uh, sort of between sort of 15, 14, 15 months between sort of... Um, steps for these um, these subscriber vids so by my reckoning I should be hitting my uh, 500 subs in about uh, April March uh, 2020 <laughs> the rate things are going so anyway that's been me TFR Wilderness this is my 400 subs video review I hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for subscribing and please please continue to watch my videos I, I much appreciate your views and uh, I will catch you all next time. See yous.